sure hope that you under uh had a great walk reverend because uh i did a lot of thinking while you were out on your little walk well that's good flossy i was thinking about some things myself i uh had to really think and regroup about the things how i've been acting lately and i just want to make sure that uh you're okay and i'm very sorry and i'm apologizing if there was any way that i had basically pulled your strings uh well I did a lot of thinking myself, and I decided that... What did you decide, Flossie? Well, let me ask you first. What have you decided, Reverend? Flossie, um, I really enjoy being with you, and I really feel like um, our relationship is, you know, uh, important. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I want to ask you something very important. What is it, Reverend? What is it? Um, I want to ask you, how long are you willing to wait for me to do the right thing? I mean, if I propose to you, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. if I propose to you, how long will you give me to get it together before I propose to you? Well, I don't understand that, Reverend. You're confusing me. I don't understand. Wait a minute now. Do I hear something about proposals over there? Do I hear something, Flossie? Uh, no, 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 no. No, we're just talking, everybody. We're just talking. Mm, let's have and open up these chocolate chip cookies because I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. You guys just ate. You guys just had dinner. What are you talking about? You're hungry. Well, I mean, these cookies look delicious. Who made it? Uh, well, actually, Big Mama made them. Oh, okay, because I was about to say, if Muriel made them, I'm passing it over. I don't want it. Oh, excuse me, Lena. I have been making really good batches of cookies. Mm-hmm. You put lard in it? Well, I always put lard in my cookies. Well, Big Mama always puts real butter in her cookies. You know, Lena, me and your Big Mama and Flossie, we have gone back and forth and back and forth about recipes. We was going to let our men try the cookies and see who actually has the best cookie. Well, you just wasting your time because these cookies right here are Big Mama's cookies. And Big Mama's cookies are so delicious, they just kind of melt in your mouth and not in your hands. You got that right, Lena. You got that right. So, um, <clears throat> uh, why don't you guys uh, go ahead and give the kids some, you know, some sweets. And I'm going to go over here and see what's going on. Is everything okay, you guys? Um, I'm just making sure. I'm just checking in, making sure. Flossie, I just want to know that. Reverend, I'm not giving you no more chances. It's already 2021. We brought it in without you. You went on your walk wherever to God knows where. But you know what? <laughs> we had dinner and now you come back and now you're asking me about more time. Are you really serious? <gasps> are you really serious? Reverend, are you really saying that to Flossie? Well, I, I wanted to do it my way. You remember I told you guys earlier? You said it that the way. But well, it's a, what's the hold up, Reverend Clinton? What is going on? Yeah, what's going on? I really want to know that too. Come on, Flossie, are you all right? I'm fine. I'm really fine. Oh, Reverend, maybe you should go. You really got Big Mama really upset. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm really okay. I'm all right. Flossie, I know when you are feeling really down about something. And we already talked about this already. Are you sure you all right? Reverend. Fl well, yes, Flossie, what is it? What do, what, would you, what do you want? I really want to be with you, Clinton. But you don't understand how I feel, apparently. And you are not on the same boat as I am. So? So what are you saying? I'm saying right now that... I think that we should just kind of go our separate ways for now. 
are you serious, Flossie? Are you, I don't really want that. I don't think you really want that. I think you're not thinking clearly. I think you're, you know, you're, you're acting out of anger. You know, a whole lot of pressure here is in this kitchen with everybody over here cackling about our relationship. Cackling. Excuse me, Reverend. I, we are not cackling. You have wasted so much time of Flossie's and I already talked to you about this. Well, you know, I ain't saying it in a bad way, but this is a lot of pressure on Flossie. And I don't think it's right for either her or I to be pressured about us and our relationship. If we want to do something about our relationship, we will do something about our relationship. You know, we don't need people to be on the sidelines cheering. You know what I mean? This is really important. Clinton, are you serious? So you're not going to propose at all? Flossie. This is just not the right time. Well, you know what? Wait a minute now. I think we're all thinking too rationally. I think, I really, I really think that um, we should really rethink, regroup. You know, I really think that you guys are both angry and I think you guys are just thinking too clearly, too ahead of the, I mean, I don't know if you guys are really thinking clearly. Well, I know Flossie's thinking clearly and I know what Flossie wants. It's enough time wasted, isn't it, Flossie? Yes. It's just enough time, Clinton. I've given you enough time. I've given you to 2021 at midnight and you did not propose to me. Flossie, I don't like to ever see you cry. I've never seen you cry. Well, she's been crying over you, Reverend. Okay. She's been crying over you, Reverend. You understand what I'm saying? Crying? Flossie, you ain't never told me you've been crying over me. What was going on? I love you. I really love you. You can just go on and leave now. It's all right. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll remain friends at the church only. Okay. Flossie, can I kiss you goodnight? No, no. Beat it, Reverend. Beat it. Well, you guys, uh, happy new year. Um, I hope everybody have a joyous, prosperous new year. And I hope everybody's dreams come true and everybody let's pray on it tonight. And I think Flossie's just a little bit upset. I have a feeling that maybe, you know, she'll, you know, think more about it and she'll probably give me a call in the morning. Um, do I have anybody going to say goodnight to me or anything? Anybody? Well, <laughs> Okay, um, this is very awkward, so I am going to leave, but um, it was really nice meeting you guys. Um, it was really a nice evening, and I'm sorry that this evening didn't turn out the way how you guys thought and how it was going to be planned, but I really honestly think that, um, you know I love you, Flossie. You know that, right? And I love you, too. All right. If you want to call me, you know where to reach me, right? Yes, I know. I know. Ain't that about nothing? <laughs> I'm not falling for this little shenanigans. <laughs> I am not falling for it. Me too, Oprah. I'm not falling for it either. I know I'm not. Me either. I'm not falling for it either. Well, you know what? I think we should go on to eat these cookies anyway because you know what? <laughs> these cookies is more hotter than this relationship. I'm telling you, I'm ready to eat some cookies and I'm ready to go to bed. I want a cup of milk and I'm ready to go to bed. All right, all right, all right. You know what, Reverend? I want you to have a really nice evening. And thank you so much for the, the good times. All right, Flossie. I really want to kiss you goodnight. Bye, Reverend. Have a nice 2021. All right.